Alright guys, so what's up so fun back though today? Got a pretty quick um duck and bow video. I went to the really quick. I came this video with no type of energy though. But yeah, um we got some pretty good stuff. Get it kid boo, it's easy as live in the game of course for JP. I don't know when we go blow this video. You guys already know it, let's get it started. But yeah, um there's some other stuff I wanna kinda of talk about as well. But yeah, um it can boost easy as good in the game. I've not seen anything at all about it. I was gonna make a video for like, you know, details, typical stuff, and yada yada. But unfortunately, though, I didn't have any time. I mean, I did have time, but um, I just I was busy doing a lot of thing, other things. I was like, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to, trying to push out all these Pokemon videos the next couple of days. Um, and stuff like that, because um, I want to try to get some of those more videos out, because I haven't done Pokemon in like a long time. So, um, again, try to push some of those out, though, recently. So, yeah. Um, of course, you know, his easy days up in the game right now. I'm just about to do some ducking stuff. It's been a minute actually since I've recorded some ducking specifically. And you can tell about the time down there, you know. Stuff like that. Yeah. I've had a couple days of rest and stuff like that, of course, you know, for recording and stuff like that. Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, I haven't seen anything about Kibu's easy A at all. I heard he's a really good monster for, um, monster power and, like, power absorption. I heard he's, like, a support type unit for that category, though. Otherwise, I haven't really seen that much about him just yet, though. But, um, yeah, again, it follows typical easy A rules, super simple easy A. His easy A actually is gonna probably be really easy for everybody. Because, um, specifically for Kid Boo, um, he's gonna get pure sands. Makes sense, because, you know, he fought Goku and Vegeta the whole time in the Boo arc, so yeah. Um, yeah, though, his easy A should be really easy, especially, like, any type of, uh, probably pure sand free to play, otherwise, stuff like that. It should be really easy to kind of go through, though. I mean, it should be, I mean, and even if you have, like, just barely even pure, any pure sands, you can see Brock probably can even beat this as well. Um, but yeah, though, um, if I was a typical easy and stuff like that, super simple, it should be really easy for everybody to go through this easy eight, though. Um, hopefully everybody can do, go do it. I know we have a new 200%, you know, power, blah, 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 for Frieza. I'll go over that in this video as well, because, um, again, um, again, super simple stuff for the easy and stuff like that. I'm just scrolling down for you guys so you can see everything. Of course, you know, you can't lower attack defense, you can't stun them, seal them, typical easy stuff. You get Kai's, Orb, Stones. I'm always like going over it, you know, if you're like a new player or something like that to the game. I actually do a Broly Chain Battle video done. I forgot about that. Um, oh yeah, a couple days ago. Um, I haven't edited it yet. I haven't got to editing it yet. Because I've been doing, I was trying to do all the thumbnails first, then editing, so I can just have them done by then. Because, you know, it doesn't really take that long though for me now because I'm really easy on it. But yeah, it's pretty simple for it's easy and stuff like that. Of course, you know, it takes 15 bronze, 40 silver, 30 gold, and of course, 30 rainbow orbs. Um, you get 5,200 small. You get 4,000 medium, of course you get 360 large. Hey, I got 360. Every time I see like green orbs, I think 360 because, you know, it's black and, you know, green. Um, but yeah though, um, of course you get 11, um, 11 grand kai's for only int and only, and of course you get 30 stones. Typical stuff. Um, these are all mostly has now. I think the other units can easy A because I know it's like another boo that you can get from the, um, event. I feel like you could definitely make an easy A. And I know it's like super boo, um, there's another um, Tech Super Boo on there as well. They're both Super Tech Super Boos. Um, I probably think it's like Doken Awaken. No, the, uh, there's like two of them. There's a free play one. He hasn't Doken Awaken to, to UR yet, but they can do that. Give him easy A. I think Super Boo, that, there's another one that, that two that um, heals. It, they've been in the game for like a long time. Just take my word for it. No one's ever going to use them anyway, though, unless you know. But level, take, level 10 length mod and stuff like that should be still super simple anyway, though. So, yeah. Again, um, those guys have been in the game for like years and stuff like that. I thought like they could get easy A's next, because this guy got his easy A's. So yeah, again, when, when these guys when these guys specifically get easy A's, they will like any type of like 120 or like any other later. They um other units from like other events will Doken Awaken as well. Um and stuff like that. So yeah, again, like you know, for example, if it just like visible any unit who Doken Awaken from the Kid Boo Metals, um, because a lot of you do do Doken Awaken from like I mean, his specific Kid Boo Metal, it's just updating you know event and stuff like that. Um, from the older one, from the physical one, they have his medals just nowadays, you can just easily farm it up now. It's super, again, you get like more medals as you do the event, more and more and more. But yeah, um, again, I've not seen this guy's easy aid that much, but I'm really excited because, um, I think he probably is like one, probably my favorite 120. Um, because when he first came out, stuff like that, you know, I always say he sucked, he was dead on arrival. It wasn't really that though. A lot of people just say he sucks and stuff like that because he had no healings at all. Because Majin, basically with the link level system updates nowadays, he had Majin now, he gets like two keys and stuff like that. Um, you have like, you know, more attack. Again, it was just back in the day, it was just pure attack and it kind of sucked when one liked it because he had no key. Um, then a lot of people say, oh yeah, you don't got to give him a key. And basically with the link level, yeah, because back in the day, he needed key because Majin units do not have key and they suck back then. But nowadays, with the link level system update, of course, it doesn't give you two keys or something like that like it does before. I think like if you have like over in a flash unit, and they try to link up together in the middle, you can't get like 60 or whatever. It happens. Um, I know that. At the, I know that at the, uh, at the least. Um, again, a little stuff I thought of. 
Okay, that hurts me downstairs. You got something to go over there. But yeah, um, you know, there's like some updates and stuff like that nowadays, of course, you know, the cool stuff, so yeah. Um, so let's get into this guy's details. I did see a little bit of, like, you know, what his past kind of did, but I didn't see, I haven't seen anything at all from him yet, so yeah. If you see my full reactions, you already know it, so yeah. Um, I don't know, just fine. But yeah, of course, the leader skill, all the 120s will have all these leader skills. One, yeah, like all the 120s will have the same leader skill. It's not gonna change. This is simple stuff. I don't really say that. So, besides the super attack, it's only there's leader skills, stuff like that will stay the same. Leader skill and links will stay the same and categories. So, yeah, links, categories, and leader skill, they will all stay the same um, for that but EZA unit. Like, if, if, for example, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku gives the EZA. I'll be thinking him and Vegeta can get EZAs at the same time. Um, I thought like this because they are going all villains first. So, I feel like they could do physical cooler next, and the last one will be um, STL Janepa. All you gotta do is make him in Janepa. Physical cool cooler, they don't need to change that much for him at all. Just, they don't need to do anything. He's already good enough. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, again, again for um, all those 120s, like any EZA, almost 120 in general, all the 120s specifically, they don't need to change that much for them anyway. Um, again, all the leader skills, passives, no, no only the only thing you'll change for the um, EZA specifically for the 120s is their um, super attack effects and their um, passives. That's it. That's literally it. Links, categories, and leader skill. Well, they're all gonna be the same. They're all gonna be different. That's pretty much it and stuff like that. So yeah. At least skills they all stay the same, so yeah. Because super attack rates attack defense for one turn causes um emits damage and recovers twelve percent health. That's actually really good though, because again, the more you super attack with them, um, the more um health his health is gonna heal up. So first passive, here we go boys. So attack plus 100%, dang, plus additional attack and defense plus 70%, which HP 30 when HP is 30% or more. Budget power category, extreme class allies, key one when HP is 50% or more. Extreme class allies, key plus one when um, HP is 70% or more. Okay, so, okay, that's actually really good for him, though. Um, because specifically for Boo and stuff like that, that's really good, though. He's, he's a support unit and he's going to be hitting hard. Again, he already hit hard before, they don't really need to do that. Um... Again, I think it's like LR full power freeze. When you hit a certain, when you hit, when you're hitting certain break HP thresholds, he's gonna support that type. He's gonna um, help out that. Specific. It's like LR roll and Chilean limo. Um, but every time they get more orbs, they're gonna um, you know, help out their allies, defense, attack, or they're gonna dodge 100 percent of the time. Either of those. Um, okay, his is unique and different. I do like it though. Again, they don't need to change that much about him. His healing actually is gonna be really effective. I feel like you could go for additional for him. Because if you want to get those, you want to prioritize those super attacks. He's gonna do a lot of damage anyway, though, because of link, link system update. I know everybody's not gonna get link level ten right off the bat, though. But overall, though, I feel like he's gonna end up being pretty good, um, different and good as well. So yeah, he does attack plus 100. percent Of course, it's gonna be really good for him, and he could get additional attack. Yeah. So again, we hit certain HP thresholds. He's gonna support um 30 percent or more. He's gonna support margin, um, margin power. Uh, when he gets up to 50 percent, he's gonna support, support extreme class allies. He's gonna support him again more when you he's okay, yeah. So he basically gonna be getting key. He's gonna be getting key with everybody, including himself. He's gonna be doing a lot of, yeah, again, he's just giving himself key a lot and plus with the margin link updates. Yeah, this is he's pretty good. I like it though. I'll probably say it's again, me talking about him probably isn't enough. But it's pretty good honestly for his boo. It actually is pretty good because um of Again, give himself key, which is that was the problem he had before. And plus, the margin link system update, he's gonna give himself a lot of key. He's gonna be healing up a lot, and he's gonna be doing a lot of good, dishing out a lot of good attack and defense, uh, attack damage and defense, and, not, and defense stacking a little bit because you know raising the attack for one turn. As we seen with Vegito Blue, I probably say go for additional for this guy because we seen with Vegito Blue, he get, he has the potential to be with Vegito Blue on crack just for Ant. Um, I'm glad Ant got a good update. Extreme Ant is already good. Super Ant still needs some good stuff here and there, but they still are again decent stuff like that here and there. But yeah, though, um, amazing though, honestly, maybe we good support type unit. Um, we hit certain HP thresholds again, um, help out your allies and stuff like that. So most support unit is gonna be doing a lot of attack. Um, he can raise his defense up for one turn. He's gonna do a lot of good, decent. He's gonna do a lot of damage with link system update and stuff like that. Also, though, amazing. I'm impressed. He really is good. Like they really made him really amazing and good. I'm impressed. I really am impressed. He's really good. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty good for link blue and stuff like that. And now we got this new 200% Frieza. Um. You know, it's basically the Frieza exam campaign and stuff like that, basically, um, where every day you're going to be doing more damage. Um, yeah, basically the Frieza exam and stuff like that, um, it'll be available every couple of days, I think. It'll be available so you can, um, it'll be unlocked, it'll be available and stuff like that. Um, and you'll have specific units ready. Um, you can have specific units already set, like, for example, like, right there for Hit and stuff like that. You have, like, Hit, Jiren, and Goku and stuff like that. Like, every day it'll be a different unit. I'm, I'm not going to go over this pretty much. I'm going to go over it all in one video anyway. Um, this Frieza exam right here. Basically, stuff like that, all your links will be level 5. Um, basically, you have a special friend right there, like for Universal, Universal Survival Saga. Jiren, Goku, or um, Kakin Blue, Goku, or Hit, they'll all have, um, for him, potential. They'll all have, um, it'll be, I think it'll be, um, 
Fights for Spring Break. Yeah, fully hidden potential system. Uh, I think it's 2000 or 4000, either one. It was Rainbow or not. I believe it's going to be Rainbow. Um, no, it's a Rainbow on there, though. Um, but yeah, again, certain categories will do more damage against them. Um, they have level 5 equipment. Um, skill orbs. Yeah, links will all be level 5. It'll be fully maxed out potential. I think it's 2000 because I did that before. It's going to be all 2000. Links have, um, for him potential, you have to be 2000. Um, I said that 5,000 times. Um, skill and link, um, your equipment will be level 5 attack, and your links will all be level 5. Okay, it's really good and considerate. So yeah, you cannot bring any of the nuclears, by the way. So it says right there, they are not allowed in this event. So basically, um, it's going to be kind of harder, though, to do that because you're not going to have, like, the good boost, stuff like that. Because, again, they know how people nuke and stuff like that in the game. They bring, like, one of these nuclears and stuff like that. Or, you know, the next-gen nuclears, how I pronounce it like that. The STR Piccolo, I think, physical trunks, that's how I pronounce them as next-gen nuclears. Because they are, like, the next-gen nuclears and stuff like that. We yeah, the old school and of course the new gen. And of course, uh, Vegeta Tech, the Tech Medical movie Vegeta's on there as well. Again, I think it's depending when you bring in and stuff like that. Um, oh yeah, I forgot Kipu, I forgot. He is weak to Pierce Sands, I forgot about that. So yeah, again, this is your Pierce Sands. I'm going with the whole category right here. Again, any free to play, whatever, how you, any, any of these Pierce Sands are going to do good. Especially physical and stuff like that. Again, free to play and stuff like that. Again, if you have any of these Pierce Sands, they're going to do good. Tech Cliff is going to be amazing because she can dodge all of their things. But yeah, again, Chris Ains, insane for Kid Boo, specifically. Insane. Of course, we have his banner right here and stuff like that. Um, don't really need to summon on there because it's just these humans come back a lot often anyway. Of course, the Pierce Ains category banner probably don't summon on this either. Because again, if you've summoned a lot in the game or you're doing screen play and something like that, like that, something like that, you'll have any of these humans. will be, again, they're all good for the event. They're, again, going to be super easy and stuff like that. So yeah. Again, the Freeze Exam, I think it's specifically when I think. I think it's a unit if you bring it, because I know the 5 University did this, it's like a bootleg, not bootleg, but it's like the Hercule Punchy Bag Machine event. They've been doing these events kind of a lot over and over and over again. Well, basically, you know, if you bring the unit in with you, I think they'll just do, um, if they're on the category or whatever, specifically, if they're, specifically, specifically, if they're on the category, like, for example, Universal is a it. I looked up for JP. I think specifically if you bring a unit, like, for example, if you bring, like, Ella Kill and Khalifla, or Ella Goku and Frieza, or any of these type of units, I think it just being them being there will actually, um, just like, you know, I think they're just doing more damage as they're on the field and stuff like that. So yeah, this is the first day. Second day is Resurrected Warriors. Um, again, I think it's just that's applying that. Again, all these units and stuff like that, they're all pretty much insane. There's so many units on, on these categories nowadays that can hit hard. Resurrected Warriors may be a little bit more harder because some of these units on here are pretty okay. But hey, Alibo Jack's gonna be good on here. Um, I forgot about that. Um, of course, LR Frieza. All the LR Frieza is gonna be good. Um, again, they're all gonna be really good on here. Transformation Boost has a lot of good units on here as well. Again, these are for like next couple of days. I think this one's Friday as well. Um, so yeah, again, I'll probably push out this video sooner as, as soon as I can though. But yeah. Um, but yeah, again, that's all we want to go with today. Again though, um, like I said, I really wasn't trying to make it that long though. But yeah, AK Boots ETA, I'm impressed. I love it. They have the new Frieza, um, you know, punching bag machine event um, up here as well. So yeah, you cannot bring any nuclears though. There's a couple of missions in here as well. I like that being kind of considerate a little bit. Hopefully they'll bring more events like this in the future. Because they said they were trying to do more new events and stuff like that in the Joking Survey. I'll probably put some more around here. But they said they're gonna try to do new or more newer events, stuff like that, you know, for players, stuff like that, you know, do you want like new modes and stuff like that. Like it's the same reason, like, you know, the five anniversary survey, um, when it first came out for JP, they're like, oh yeah, do you want to see Dragon Ball Hero Dark Defense units and stuff like that? You know, LRs. Again, do you want to see the Kyle Kimbo Vegeta? Do you want to see Super Saiyan 4 Black Rowan? The same. But yeah. And yeah, they said they're going to try to do new and more be better events. Yeah, I think even on the JP survey, they said that as well. But yeah, um, again, this is all we want to go with today. Again, I wasn't trying to make the video that long, 5,000 years later. But yeah, um, I'm impressed with Kid Boots EZA. I'm going to the new Freeza event and stuff like that. Again, super simple, easy probably to go through. Again, we bring, I think we specifically bring any unit from that category, they'll automatically, like, you know, have more damage, hit harder, and stuff like that. This is how these, this is how these punching bag machine events go, usually, though, because we have these last couple of years and stuff like that. But yeah. Um, yeah, see you guys later though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, great life. All cool junk. Again, though, Kid Boots EZA, I'm impressed. He's gonna be a good support type unit for all these categories, for all like heroes and other for, for villains. Specifically, again, we hit we hit certain HP thresholds, he can do a lot of good damage there. Um, as well, like a bomb though, because again, yeah, you might get hit hurt a lot, so I like that, something like that. Because, um, you know, back in the day, he didn't like you know, get it just pure attack links and stuff like that. But you know, now it's attack, healing, and of course, you know, key and stuff like that, you know. Again, different question, um, links and stuff like that. Uh, for the like, um, yeah, category and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, again, so we'll go today again. 
Um, I'm impressed with Kibu ZZA. He's going to be hitting hard skill rates, attack defense up. Again, we see anything from Vegeta Blue. He's going to be Vegeta Blue on crack. Healing, um, raising up attack, um, attack defense for one turn. If you give him full additional, he's going to be amazing because he's going to just heal up a lot. And again, he's going to be a really good support subunit and stuff like that for um, all his categories. Um, for the category, for watching power, of course, that seems already insane. And, um, for villains and stuff like that, he's going to support them as well. Again, they're going to be getting all those buffs anyway, so yeah. Made him freaking brokenly insane! I love it! He's good. He's amazing. He's really good and amazing. He's brokenly good. His stats could be amazing and stuff like that. Yeah, we see his stats down there. It's gonna be pretty good as well. So yeah, see you guys later though. Again though, peace out.